hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today i am showing some uh, how to use chat gpt in in Ruvet. so here is an example i will i'll show you how to do that one before that uh, if you like my video please don't forget to my uh, subscribe my channel so it's totally related to electrical and um, electrical rivet and autocad uh, so uh, here i will i need to i need to draw a cable tray first okay so you can use the chat gpt first and you can just type it uh, draw a cable tray in rivet okay so they will give a description how to do, uh, run that one okay so just type it that one so they they will uh, they will developing all the things okay so see see it's easy it's, it's easy but but but, but little bit complicated those who are not not have started anything okay so open rivet okay so i opened one rivet project i i opened um, i have a lot of videos how to open a project in a electrical projects and as how to settings uh, view templates and everything so just to watch that videos so uh, then then i opened that rivet okay so start make a, you are correct in the view template so, so i am in the power templates or we can create from here uh, like a uh, uh, lot of um, uh, templates uh, views and everything cable trays and everything so uh, i done a lot of videos if you can refer my uh, videos then you will be get that one and don't forget my channel subscribe my channel and uh, go to uh, then 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 we need, we need to go to the architecture tab, uh, tab and uh, you need to insert and everything for the structural and architectural things and create the path of cable tray. then then go to the system tab okay then we are going to the system tab so we'll have an electrical tab over here then select the cable tray okay so we are selected the cable tray and if you have, you can uh, you can see here so how how many cable trays we have so you can select that one so for example you need cable a cable tray ladder okay we'll go here and just find it that one and you will get the all the um, size of the cable tray from here if you are not getting that one you just go to here and uh, uh, type es okay so you will be get a um, es uh, uh, the electrical uh, settings over here so you can you can get the, all the settings from here you can add the size if you need 1200 cable trays there okay you can add it that one uh, so so i i did, did a lot of videos about that one so go to here and choose a cable tray 900 mm cable tray and you can you can if you need 600 mm you can select that one and for example you, this is started from 2500 and up to here is 2750 and i just need to that one in, in the two three thousand just enter that one and i need to draw like this cable tray three thousand um 3000 and i draw like this and uh, if if you want to draw like this okay so and another cable tray and another another height i need okay depends upon your linked model you can choose the levels and everything okay so i did like that okay so you just go to the 3d view how it's work uh, so you can see yeah, all the all the cable trays in uh, different levels and uh, uh, cable ladder and everything you can see it from here and you can modify the cable trays and everything okay so i will i'll, sh I'll show you another things you go to the cable tray again and you can choose another cable tray and you can edit type from here i can duplicate that one and for example i am just uh, giving this one lv uh, one uh, cable tray uh, zero one is the name of the cable tray and i'm just giving that one okay and i give an okay and you can choose the size from here uh, 900 mm cable tray uh, for example it's going to 3500 and i need to change i need to run the cable tray like this and again i need to change the cable tray height is 2750 and you can draw like the all automatically the generated uh, the fittings and everything so you can uh, run the cable tray like this so a tool is giving the more important like the all the descriptions and how to how to run the cable trays and everything uh, you can you, you can easily draw the things and and you can add the supports and everything already i made a uh, video for that one add cable tray accessories okay so so we'll have a already accessories and everything over here so you, you can uh, give a tags for the cable tray so for example just type tg and you can give the tag for the cable trays about these things 
and already i made a lot of videos and this is the a tool is giving all the uh type of uh, how to run the how to develop the cable trace in in a rivet okay so one, one don't forget uh, if, if if you've done one thing okay so don't forget to save the uh, models and everything if you can uh, see in in the rivet you can see the all the uh, like um, all, all, all the 3d views easily easily in 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 rivet and everything okay so you once you once you select this one and select the scope 3d uh, section view so you can see the 3d views and everything okay and save save the projects so they will give a full descriptions how it's it's work okay please note that uh, simplified guidance and everything okay you can do the things as per the that things okay for example if you want to put a lighting families over here just type a lighting uh, how how to place a lighting in a rivet so so just they will give a full descriptions about uh, how to how to place uh, sorry how to place lighting in rivet so they will give a full descriptions about the uh, about that things okay so as per that you can uh, do that one so make sure you have a uh, good experience in uh, rivet so practice the rivet and it will be good for you okay thanks for watching thank you don't forget to subscribe my channel